वेलकम टू माई चैनल अध्ययन विथ फ्लो प्रीवियसली वी डिस्कस्ड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ नेफ्रोन एंड समथिंग हाईलाइटेड ऑफ यूरिन फॉर्मेशन हाउ यूरिन फॉर्म ओके वी ड्रॉ अ फ्लो चार्ट और राइट लेट्स स्टार्ट डिटेल प्रोसेस ऑफ यूरिन फॉर्मेशन लेट्स रिकैप ऑल द थिंग फर्स्ट एफरेंट आर्ट्रियोल आर्ट्रियोल कम विथ ब्लड कम विथ ब्लड और राइट प्लस टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंस and they pass to glomerulus glomerulus is a capillary structure they filter they filter they filter the blood and remove toxic substance from this remove toxic substance with blood and now this filtrate this filtrate passes towards bowman capsules bowman's capsules bowman's capsules also filtrate the also do filtration process glomerulus and bowman's capsule both are doing same thing both are doing same thing filtration how we will study in this part now the filtrate passes through bowman's capsule towards towards pct and pct absorb pct absorb water and some important ions and pct passes filtrate towards henle's loop and henle loops what they do they absorb important waters and ions and next henle's loop passes means pct henle's loop and they passes filtrate towards dct dct also absorb important minerals ions nutrients amino acids glucose so pct dct and henle's loop they both doing what absorption absorption and now finally urine is formed and they passes towards collecting dirt collecting duct and excrete out so third process is excretion so urine formation is divided into three process the first is filtration second one is reabsorption and third one is secretion clear guys let's discuss in detail the first step in urine formation is filtration we all know this thing first process filtration which is carried out by glomerulus and it's called glomerulus filtration this process is performed by glomerulus this is the capillary structure they do what filtration filter look at me this is the filtration sieves okay some substances which are small and toxic they collect they collect in bowman capsule bowman capsule and pure thing is removed and pure thing is removed afferent come with toxic substance and efferent this arteriole goes with pure blood okay this is come with toxic substance and this is go with pure and this is the glomerulus capillary structure they filter toxic substance and bowman capsule collect oh bowman capsule collect all the toxic substance toxic substance now on average this is a ratio guys this is qualitative ratio average ratio this is not a approximate 1100 to 1200 ml that's it no it's a average it's a average ratio in day time this ratio is change and evening time that night time they can fluctuate okay this is a average okay not the, this is the accurate perfectly data based no this is a average on average 1100 to 1200 ml of blood is filtered by kidney per minute this is the average of per minute filtered by kidney which constitute roughly 1/5 of blood pumped out by each ventricle of the heart in the minute they said that heart pump what blood these are atrium and these are ventricle then then ventricle passes their blood towards the body organs towards the body organs by aorta so these blood carried by afferent and these afferent they what they do they come with glomerulus they come towards glomerulus and glomerulus do filtration process and same body and same this when this side of ventricles what they do they take all toxic substance or non oxygenated blood from the body from the body they also passes through kidney all right guys they also passes through kidney then kidney exactly what they do they filter the blood they filter the blood all right they filter all the toxic substance from blood they remove all the sub, uh, toxic substance from the blood wo kidney kidney remove all the toxic substance from the blood the glomerulus the glomerulus capillary blood pressure cause filtration of blood through three layers we all know that filtration is occur how this process is occur how this process is occur due to glomerulus capillary blood pressure this process is occur we all know look at here wo kehti hai this is the afferent arteriole isn't it clear isn't it and this is the efferent arteriole isn't it look at this size look at their size 
एफ एंड इज मोर थिक कंपेयर देन ई फ्रेंट एफ एंड डायामीटर इज मोर थिक देन ई फ्रेंट दिस इज क्लियरली विजुअल गाइज ई फ्रेंट थिकनेस इज हाई कंपेयर देन ई फ्रेंट एफ फ्रेंट थिकनेस हाई एंड दिस इज थिन कंपेयर देन एफ फ्रेंट सो ब्लड कम विथ दिस आर्टियोल टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंस कम विथ दिस आर्टियोल दिस डायामीटर इज वेरी हाई आर्टरियोज डायामीटर इज वेरी हाई सो ब्लड टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंस कैन ईजिली रिमूव सो कम विथ हेयर एच टू ऑल्सो प्रजेंट ओके ब्लड इज ऑल्सो प्रजेंट सम टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंस इज ऑल्सो प्रजेंट ओके देन वॉट हैपन नेक्स्ट वॉट हैपन नेक्स्ट एंड फिल्ट्रेशन इज अगर फिल्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस इज प्रोसीड हाउ बिकॉज ऑफ प्रेशर इज कॉज ब्लड कम विथ दिस आर्टियोल एंड गोज वॉन्ट टू गोज विथ दिस साइड बट हेयर डायामीटर इज वेरी स्मॉल सो ओनली ब्लड कैन पास इज एंड दिस प्रोसेस and this process cause some pressure means this channel is very high every can enter everyone can enter and this channel is very thin so only pure thing can remove and other thing is composed sediment here so this is the pressure this is the pressure this is the thin portion no one can pass easily with purity no one can pass so this is the pressure cause of filtration process okay because of different size of these capillary the endothelium of glomerulus vessels okay means this is not a made up of a single layer this is not a made up of single layer blood vessels is over there bowman capsule layer is over there basement membranes is also there the whole the completely this layer this layer this is the layer of glomerulus capillary this is the endothelium i am writing here this is the endothelial of glomerulus blood vessels glomerulus blood vessels and this is the epi epi part not endo i don't say endo this is the epithelial part of bowman's capsule epithelial part of bowman's capsule okay it's not a bc okay it's bowman capsule and now this is the basement membrane this is the basement membrane these three layers cause pressure these three layer cause pressure all right that's why the filtration process easy they goes easy and now next important line look at here the epithelial of bowman capsule yeah epithelial of bowman capsule and basement membrane between these two layers the epithelial cells of bowman's capsule this called podocytes are arranged in in intricate manner so as leave some minute space called filtrate tree what they want to say that this is the layer of this is the layer of what this is the layer of epithelium bowman's capsule layer they said some podocytes some podocytes present here some podocytes present here what they do what they do they useful in filtration they useful in filtration these are what these are podocytes they cover they cover whole the cell podocytes they are more efficient they are highly efficient towards towards what towards what they are highly efficient towards filtration and they have some little pores we can say throughout this pore toxic substance can passes remove all right guys these pore we can say is slit pore it's clear guys so every cell of bowman capsule is covered with podocyte podocyte what they do they do filtration process and remove and remove what toxic substances by slit pore blood is filtered so finely through this membrane of course because of these podocytes that almost all the constituents of plasma they want to say that all thing are filtered all thing filter easily except even plasma also filtrate except they do exception they write here exception what is the name of exception some proteins understand guys so it is considered as a process of ultra filtration yeah because of podocytes because of their filtration technique this is the ultra filtration glomerulus do yeah we can assure that glomerulus also do filtration process but bowman's capsule also do what epithelial cell of bowman's capsule covered by podocytes they also do same thing what filtration that's why we called it ultra filtration ultra filtration look at here guys look at here now let's continue further the amount of the filtrate formed by kidney per minute is called gfr wait 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 gfr glomerular filtration rate this is the per minute ratio per minute ratio what is the ratio 150 ml per minute and 180 liter per day this is the ratio of gfr the amount of filtrate formed by kidney amount of filtrate means future urine 
they filter how much how much 150 ml per minute and 180 liter per day they can filter and what are our urine amount not the uh, highest ml little bit ml we can remove but they filter 180 liter per day filter and they make less urine less filter rate okay guys so they filter per minute per minute in 60 seconds they filter 125 ml and per day they filter 180 liter per day highest capacity guys look at there what a capacity what a efficiency 180 liter per day our kidney filter our kidney filter the blood 180 liter per day the kidney have built in mechanism for the regulation of low marular filtration rate okay one such efficient mechanism is carried out by juxta marular apparatus so what is the meaning of juxta glomerular apparatus they have long handless loop they have long handless loop and if i say cortical then we they have short grain handless loop they have short handless loop and they have long handless loop clear guys jga juxta glomerular apparatus is a special sensitive region formed by a cellular modification of distal convoluted tubule and the afferent arteriole at the location of their contain highly they are made up with what they are made up with dct highly in case highly they made up with dct and dct and afferent tubules afferent arteriole and this is the i must say this is the two parts two tubular part in handless loop this is the pct this is the handless loop and this is the dct then what they want to say that j g a juxta glomerular apparatus is mainly made up with afferent arteriole afferent arteriole and plus and plus dct distal convoluted tubule that's it now let's start with there is filtration is completed there is filtration is completed and now let's start with reabsorption who reabsorbed in nephron of course pct part handless loop part and dct part they are useful in what they are useful in the absorption they are responsible for reabsorption a comparison of volume of filtrate formed per day 180 liter with that a urine release look at here our kidney filter per day 180 liter but they remove they make filtrate how much 1.5 liter means at 180 liters our kidney filter everything and our urine amount is 1.5 liter the 99 percent filtration process who reabsorb so much water huh? so much water over there so much iron i mean ions uh, sodium potassium calcium amino acids some glucose some drugs who absorb and who release it is absorbed by renal tubules and examples of renal tubules are pct handless loop and dct this process is called as reabsorption the tubular epithelial cell in different segments of nephron perform this either by active and passive mechanism they want to say that this is assumed this is the tubular part of PCT, DCT and handle loop. They say that this is covered by a cell. Okay. It, it may be a cuboid cell, it may be columnar cell, it may be normal cell. They passes definitely they consume H2O, they absorb H2O, means they absorb H2O, absorb some important ions, some amino acids, some glucose. They absorb. They absorb, but it may be active and it may be passive. Miss this absorb occur without ATP, without energy, means ATP and with ATP, with energy. This mechanism will perform, yes, absorption is occur there, but actively and passively, both, both kind of absorption. Some minerals, some ions, some nutrients absorb actively and some are absorb passively, normally by diffusion. Active, active passive, matlab, active means they require energy. They require energy for absorption. And what is the meaning of passive absorption? What is the meaning of passive absorption? They absorb. They all are absorbed normally by diffusion. They don't require for absorption any kind of ATP and all. For example, substances like glucose, amino acid, uh, sodium in the filtrate are absorbed actively. All oh, right. This is the example. Which kind of thing absorbed in tubules actively? The name goes to glucose because they are large. Amino acid because they are also large. This is the ions. They absorbed by tubules absorbed by tubules actively they said give me atp and then i will absorb you and what is the example of passive pakka h2o they absorb without energy they can absorb okay they can absorb okay the absorption of water also occur passively in the initial segment of nephron okay during urine formation the tubular cells secrete substance like h plus k plus ammonia into filtrate now we all know that 
now at the end of BCT we can call it as a urine now filtrate name filtrate name change into urine what kind of thing we can remove from the body it may be potassium ion all right it may be chlorine ion it may be hydrogen ion it may be ammonia it may be urea okay so this is process is excretion so that's all for now guys that's all for now we can also say tubular secretion because collecting is also look like a tubule so this is the three process filtration reabsorption and excretion i'm writing here the graph this is the flow chart and this is all for now guys and thank you thank you for listening me if you like my video if you love my video my lecture then please subscribe and share my channel and keep supporting me thank you and keep listening me